This video is brought to you by Audible. Well, we made it. Here we are. 2021 is coming to a close, and we survived. A little battered, a little broken, but here we are. I say we survived. Um, truth be told, I'm actually recording this a little bit early because I want to have a little bit of time off over the holidays. So, uh, you know, hopefully we're all still here and haven't been wiped out by an asteroid or something worse. So this is either my swan song or just my latest episode. Either way, let's make it a banger. So this is what might be called one of my more straightforward episodes. Maybe stripped down would be a better way of putting it. But here we are at the end of the year, and I thought it'd be nice to take a look back at all the things that happened over this last year, some of which, I have to be honest, before I started looking into this, I had completely taken out of my memory. I had totally forgotten about. Uh, but let's take a look back at all the stuff that's happened this last year and the fields of science and technology and all that kind of stuff, and take a little preview at the next year, what we have to look forward to in 2022. So let's launch right into it. And speaking of launching right into it, let's talk about space stuff. Starting in February, NASA's Perseverance rover safely landed on Mars. And in April, a small helicopter called Ingenuity became the first powered flight of an aircraft on another planet when it hovered for 30 seconds above the surface of Mars. Ingenuity has now hopped several times since then, uh, getting increasingly better levels of uh, video quality and whatnot. It's just a routine thing now. We got a helicopter on Mars. <laughs> Also in April, SpaceX secured a $2.89 billion contract with NASA to build its next crewed lunar lander and a Starship module. And something else that happened in April was China's Tiangong Space Station was launched with its first core module named Tiane. On May 5th, we finally saw SpaceX safely land a Starship when SN15 went up to about 10 kilometers and then landed softly on its landing pad and managed to not explode, which is a good thing. On July 11th, Virgin Galactic Spaceship 2 carried Richard Branson and five other crewmates to 86 kilometers above the Earth's surface. They experienced four minutes of weightlessness before gliding back down to the Spaceport America facility in New Mexico. And then literally one week later, on July 20th, Blue Origin's New Shepard carried its first humans above the Kármán line, with Blue Origin's founder Jeff Bezos, his brother Mark Bezos, Wally Funk, and Oliver Damon were on the flight. Funk was 82 years old, Damon was 18 years old, making them the youngest and oldest people to travel in outer space at the same time. Then on July 29th, an incident occurred aboard the ISS when a Russian module fired its thrusters when it shouldn't have, making the station begin to spin, but luckily flight engineers were able to bring the station under control. On September 16th, the Inspiration4 mission orbited the Earth for two days, carrying an all-civilian crew on board a SpaceX Crew Dragon capsule, making it the first all-civilian orbital flight in history. The crew featured Jared Isaacman, who also funded the mission, Sion Proctor, Christopher Sembrowski, and Haley Arsenault, who actually just recently was hired by SpaceX, so congratulations to her. Astra Space's Rocket 3.3 reached orbit on November 20th from the Pacific Spaceport Complex Alaska on Kodiak Island. And in December, Rocket Lab shared details about its new Neutron rocket that's designed to carry satellites into space. The rockets made out of special carbon fiber will be mostly reusable and will touch down on a landing pad after launching. So let's talk about electric vehicles now. It was a big year for electric cars. According to Bloomberg NEF, electric vehicles made up 7.2% of the global car sales for the first half of 2021. That's up from 2.6% in 2019 and 4.3% in 2020. Electric cars also made up 3% of sales in North America the first half of this year. There were several new cars that went on sale this year, including the Ford Mustang Mach-E, the GMC Hummer EV, the Mercedes-Benz EQC 400, the Nissan Aria, the Polestar 2, the Rivian R1T, and the Volkswagen ID4. In October, Rivian reported that it had produced 180 the R1T pickups and delivered 156 of them. Also in October, Lucid Motors started its delivery of its Lucid Air Dream, which can go 520 miles in a single charge, making it the longest range of any pure battery electric vehicle. And it was also named Motor Trends Car of the Year that month, too. In electric infrastructure news, the Edison Electric Institute announced a new National Electric Highway Coalition in December. The coalition includes more than 50 U.S. utility companies and cooperatives that have come together to help speed up the building of electric vehicle charging stations along the country's highways. And Tesla continued to be popular this year. In its third quarter that ended in October, its total production of its 3Y and SX models was 237,823, which is up 64% year over year. And its deliveries for both models was 241,391, a 73% increase year over year. And in late October, Tesla's market value hit $1 trillion after it made a deal to sell 100,000 vehicles to car rental company Hertz. 
Now let's talk about healthcare news and some of the highlights from this last year. Back in April, Neuralink released a video showing a monkey using the company's brain chip to play a video game. They also raised $205 million in venture backing over the summer and plans to start testing its brain chips in humans next year. Probably the biggest news in healthcare this year was the approval of the COVID-19 vaccine, which regardless of how it's been weaponized politically, was a huge achievement and a major step forward in mRNA vaccines. As of early December, more than 8.3 billion doses have been administered across 184 countries, including 476 million doses in the US. Now let's talk about environmental news, which is not always the most fun thing to talk about. It's always just bad news with the environment, but there have been some, some great uh, breakthroughs that have happened this year, so we should talk about that. The COP26 conference was held in November, which a lot of people weren't really all that happy with what came out of it, but 151 countries submitted new climate plans to help cut their emissions by the year 2030. In the fall, researchers at Linkaping University in Sweden and Suchow University in China manufactured a solar cell using a solution with high boiling point and without any toxic ingredients. And the cell's energy efficiency is higher than 17%, which is kind of a breakthrough. Also this past fall, scientists at ETH Zurich in Switzerland built a plant that produces carbon neutral liquid fuels from sunlight and air. And scientists at Ohio State University discovered a way to turn hydrogen sulfide into hydrogen fuel. Some other science news that happened this year include in July, researchers at Google, along with physicists at Princeton and Stanford, used Google's quantum computer to demonstrate a genuine time crystal. This was something that was only first theorized a couple of years ago. So are you ready? Yeah, hold on. I forgot to put in the crystals. Gravitational Wave Observatories released a new crop of 35 events, bringing the total number of detections to 90. These new events include the lightest neutron star ever seen, as well as two clashes involving large black holes. Scientists confirmed that there was actually no evidence of phosphine in the clouds of Venus. The gas may have been mistaken for sulfur dioxide. And on October 1st, the European and Japanese Bepi Colombo mission made its first flyby of Mercury. It passed just 199 kilometers above the planet's surface and took black and white pictures of the planet's crater-filled surface from a distance of around 1,000 kilometers. And this year, a team at City University of Hong Kong discovered a new type of sound wave. This airborne wave vibrates transversely and carries spin and orbital angular momentum like light does. The discovery may help develop applications in acoustic communication, sensing, and imaging. And last but not least, it was reported in late November that scientists from the University of Vermont, Tufts University, and Harvard University developed a new form of biological reproduction different from any animal or plant known to science. I actually had a lot of people send this one to me. It was, um, I had done a video about the xenobots, which are the little living robots that they had created using frog cells that they manipulated and changed in different ways. Well, those xenobots found a way to produce because Life finds a way. So that's super weird and might be how humanity ends. We'll see. So I know that there's probably a lot more that happened that uh, was not on that list. If there is anything that, that you were excited about that happened this last year, something that stood out to you that I didn't catch here, please do mention it in the comments. And like I said, I think, you know, we just kind of live our lives. We kind of just go through our day and we kind of see these little flashes of news stories come out. There's a lot of creators on YouTube that follow this stuff and, and put it out there regularly. I don't really do uh, news uh, stories that often, but other people do. And uh, I missed a whole lot of this. So going back through with my writer, Jason, um, I was kind of surprised. Like we really did do a lot of cool stuff this year. That's good. But now let's look at next year. What do we have to look forward to in 2022 and beyond? Assuming AI doesn't destroy us or our xenobots take over. The biggest thing probably that's gonna be happening in 2022 fingers crossed, is the James Webb Space Telescope, which by the time this comes out, it will have already launched, and uh, but it will take about six months for it to unfold over this next year before we start to see some results from it. Uh, we're all gonna be really super excited to see what comes out of that. Right now, SpaceX's first orbital launch of Starship is scheduled hopefully for some time in January or February. Kind of forgot to mention in the rundown of everything that happened this last year that briefly the Starship was stacked on the launch pad, which made it temporarily the tallest and largest rocket that has ever been assembled. And with any luck next year, we'll actually see that thing go around the planet. Another thing to look forward to in 2022, NASA is planning on launching the Space Launch System in February as part of the Artemis program, which it plans to send astronauts to the moon in 2024. SLS has been plagued with some uh, delays, as we all know. There have been some delays recently. There were some computers that um, weren't working on the engines. They had to push something that was supposed to be launched in December into January. It's probably gonna be closer to February, but uh, I for one would love to see that thing go up eventually. Firefly Aerospace is aiming for its second orbital launch attempt of its Alpha rocket next year. And Relativity Space is planning on a demonstration launch of its lightweight Terran 1 rocket in early 22. This is the rocket that's 3D printed. As I said, in 2021, electric vehicles have really taken off. There were a lot of new, um, new cars that came out this last year. 
that is going to continue into 2022. Just some of the new cars that'll be coming out are the BMW i4, the Cadillac Lyric, the Ford F-150 Lightning, the Kia EV6, the Polestar 3, the Rivian RS1, the Toyota BZ4X, and the Volvo C40 Recharge. Meanwhile, Tesla is projecting to reach 1.3 million deliveries in 2022 as the Giga Berlin factory goes into full production along with the Austin Giga factory. And with any luck, we'll start to see cars deliver with the new 4680 cells. In environmental news, it's expected that wind and solar will reach new records in 2022. According to a report from S&P Global Market Intelligence, it's expected that as much as 44 gigawatts of utility scale solar and 27 gigawatts of wind power will come online next year. And they also expect eight gigawatts of storage to be installed in 2022. This will be about six times higher than the previous record in 2020. So that's just kind of a quick look at what we can expect for the next year. But again, I would love to hear from you guys if there's anything that you're looking forward to. Let me know in the comments. For me personally, you know, this year was just as weird for me as it was for everybody else and the year before that as well. I'm sure 2022 will innovate new and exciting kinds of weirdness for us to all deal with. Channel-wise, it's been a great year. I really can't complain. And by the way, if anybody is curious what my top five videos of this last year were, uh, the top one was the most horrifying human experiments of all time video, which got like three and a half million views. Uh, then the Peter Bergman video, The Man Who Never Existed. Um, was there an advanced civilization before humans? Came in at number three. Then there was the five weirdest theories about reality. And number five was five reasons the Victorian area was utter insanity, which is why I went down that Victorian rabbit hole. And by the way, if anybody wonders why I start to lean more toward mysterious and dark content on this channel, there you go. But I've got a lot of really big things planned for this next year. I'm really excited about it. I actually just made a huge equipment purchase to try to up the quality of these videos going forward. Um, <laughs> this one notwithstanding. But you know, at the end of every year, we look back on the previous year with a level of exhaustion <laughs> that we got through it. And we always hope that the next year is going to be better. I'm sure 2022 is going to have some bumps in the road. But my hope for all of you is that you get the most out of it and that you have the best year you possibly can. And if you want to get an idea of what to expect, not just in the next year, but in the coming decades, you might want to check out the book, The Future is Faster Than You Think, on Audible. Written by Peter Diamandis and Stephen Kotler, this book investigates how exponentially accelerating technologies like AI, robotics, virtual reality, digital biology, 3D printing, and blockchain will impact both our daily lives and society as a whole. Like, just think about how fast things have changed over the last couple of decades, and then consider that that pace of change is accelerating. So we're going to see even crazier acceleration of technology over the next couple of decades. Yeah, this book is, a, is just a fascinating look at what's to come. And right now, Audible has a special holiday offer where you can get 60% off your first three months if you sign off at audible.com slash Joe Scott or text Joe Scott to 500-500. That's only $5.95 a month. And of course, Audible has an unbeatable selection of audiobooks, tons of binge-worthy podcasts and exclusive originals, all available to download or stream. And as an Audible member, you can choose one title a month, like the latest bestseller or hottest new release, yours to keep forever. And you also get access to their streaming library, The Plus Catalog, where you can find your next podcast obsession, check out original content from celebrity creators, best-selling authors, and leading experts that you can't hear anywhere else. So if you want to get in on that and get 60% off for the first three months, again, you can go to audible.com slash Joe Scott or text Joe Scott to 500-500 and get started today. Link's down in the description. Big thanks to Audible for supporting this video and a huge shout out to my answer files and channel members who are supporting and forming an awesome community. I love all you guys. I got some new people that I will shout out at the beginning of the year because like I said, I'm kind of recording these early. So I will get to you, I promise, we'll get there. But yeah, uh, again, thank you guys so much for being um, so supportive and being a part of this channel over the last year and over the last seven years now. I, I'm coming up on eight years that I've been doing this, which just blows my mind. But uh, I only get to do it because you guys watch and support me. And uh, it's, it's, it's the best gift I've ever been given. It's a dream come true. And I, I really do sincerely appreciate all of you for, for being a part of the, the, the channel and being part of the community. I really do hope you all have a great end of the year. Uh, and I hope that you have a great 2022. I will see you um, next week with some actual real videos, <laughs> not just some cobbled together stuff like this. There should be some uh, outtakes coming up. We'll see if that happens or not. I'm trying to predict the future here. But anyway, that's it for now. You guys go out there, have an eye-opening rest of the week. Uh, take care, and I will see you next year. Thanks again. Love you guys. Take care.